running backs of the game now for Syracuse. And they'll get it out. So Will Nixon's got a lot of room to run. Inside Georgia Tech territory. Forward to throw. Tech brings pressure. But Quinn Allen has a lot of room to run and a blocker in front inside the 20. Inside the 10. Pany in motion. They'll go his way toward the goal line. Reaches over. Touchdown. And if this one stands, which I think it will, he'll have had his third. King to throw. No pressure. Has plenty of time. It has a receiver over the middle. That's going to be a first down and more. They need to make tackles the first time out. King to throw. Looking deep downfield. Dangerous pass in traffic, but it makes it work as Chase Lane makes the catch. King to run it. Read perfectly by Syracuse, but he gets through and he'll score. <laughs> How about that athleticism from Haynes King? You have got to make that tackle. It's a missed tackle. That's your gap. Now, other guys have to get to the ball as well, but you make that tackle, you stop him. It's another th third down chance for your defense. The option play with Quinn Allen easily gets it. Down inside the 30. Georgia Tech special teams. Jackson Meeks in motion. The fake to Allen. The forward downfield. Has a wide open receiver at midfield. That's Pena. Carries it into Georgia Tech territory. The Orange are in business again. 21 yards on the pitch and catch. And from midfield, Tech brings a little bit of pressure, but it's initially picked up. Now McCord's going to go down. Coley, what do you got for us? Pressure again. Got the linebackers up in the line of scrimmage. They'll bring just four. McCord looking downfield. Over the middle has Pena, and they connect. Throw. Looking to the end zone. Over the top, Pena. He's got another one. And it's just another time where, you know, pretty good job passing off, but this the pick creates separation. Entire game from the moment the ball snapped to the final whistle. The cord to throw. Gaston. Shakes off a would-be tackler. Stiff arms another. Out at the 43. The big tight end can run. Nixon. That line of scrimmage brought down. Yeah, Rondé Gatson on the linebacker in the middle of the field. And they get Georgia Tech to jump. Free play, and it's a touchdown. That's, I mean, you'd see that from a mile away. You break the formation, and Aranda Gadsden is being covered one-on-one -on -one by Kyle Eford. That is a touchdown all day. One stopping linebacker on the best tight end in the ACC. I know exactly where I'm going. Looks him off a tiny bit. In for six. Can the Yellow Jackets answer? Play fake to carry. King wants to go deep. And he's got his man, Singleton. Oh, my goodness. Again, carry swallowed up by Diggs. King is going to keep it, get the first down and more. He's going to score his second touchdown of the day. Haynes King again, and does a great job of cutting this one back. Watch. Watch the action, the pulling guard, pulling tight end, and number zero, Deuce Chestnut, just overcommits, takes a bad angle. In their own 15. Towards St. Gads, now far to the right. Over the middle, Hatcher on the catch. 
Down to the 45, Seymour in coverage, but that's 29 yards and another first down. <laughs> Hold on. Oh! And block, punt. They blocked a the field goal earlier, now they get the punt. Hamilton will pick it up at the 41. Syracuse brings just three. Gets a receiver for the first down and more. That was Singleton. The court to throw. Rolls the pocket to the right. Patrick. On the money, first down. The end around. Easy first down, dangerous play here from Zeed Haynes. And he picks up big time yardage, 11 on the carry before Trinellis Tatum was able to bring him down. Denneberg, 20, 33 rather, when he splits the uprights. You can hear the crowd in the dome getting into it. Release in motion. King throws his way. Can he make a man miss? That's why they get in the ball in space right there. Out to the 37, Derek McDonald finally tracked him down. Third down. Tech brings pressure off the edge. The third sees it. He'll scramble for the first down. And a spike on the end. Carey stopped in the backfield. Guess who? Fidel Diggs. Forward to throw. Has a pocket, has a receiver. Touchdown. Well, you mentioned LaQuinn Allen, Mark. They're pretty happy he stayed, and they're pretty happy this young man stayed as well. Target for Syracuse, one of the best tight ends in the nation. And he has come back with a vengeance this year. Four, four defenders around him. And with that height and length, Kyle McCourt still able to deliver. The King to throw, has time, has a receiver. Boyd still on his feet inside the 10, dragging tacklers down to the five. Jamal Haynes in motion, Haynes King will look to throw. To the corner of the end zone, touchdown. Wow. Chase Lane got a foot down. What a throw. Chase Lane comes back across the end line. Does a good job of tiptoeing his foot. Let's see. <laughs> That's close. Yep. Official right down the line. They do attempt it. Got to go 10 yards. Bounces around a little bit. Unless it hits a player in orange and blue. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Keeping the ball up inside. Watch Jamal Haynes come right off the down blocks of the two big tight ends. He thinks about bouncing it, but no, he keeps it up in the middle. 5-0 and oh before a trip to at NC State. Certainly plays itself out that way. Allen trying to bounce it outside. Still on his feet. He'll pick up the first down and more. Now he'll just slide down, and that should do it. The embrace for his son, Fran Brown. 2-0 in his young career as head coach here with the Syracuse Orange.